number two, the bad boy always works a little more. Hey, so I hear you guys are Are women attracted to toxicity? Young women. Young women. Because, because you gravitate to what smells familiar, and if you come from a household where machismo and all that is around you, you unconsciously feel safe in that. Yeah. And that's but what then you learn from peers, too, because you watch your boys and go, man, he's, he's hit it. Man, he's an ass. <laughs> so I think I'm going to do that because high school happened to me. I was the nice guy. Man, I was like, get her flowers. My mother's like, that's good. I did all that. And I got, I got. Doodled on, and I was like, "That will never happen to me again." I just oh man, we got to I think that's happening to all. Of us. That might be the origin story of our time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All for yeah. I was the I was the poem writing, yeah. yeah. putting flowers in my locker. To me or not to me. And then when I saw her go for the bad boy, right, right, yeah. right. I was like, "Fuck these flowers." Yeah. <laughs> And it worked, right? And I, I was like, I will never be heartbroken again. Ever. I never want to feel that. And it hurts. And you know, man, we can't take that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad we, I thank you for that because I think we just get yeah, going from that a little bit. And so it's a rumor going around that, uh, well, not rumor, it's a video going around with comedian Godfrey Neo and uh, Nick Cannon saying that women like bad guys. And they basically, you know, I'll try to cut it up and play it before. And they basically saying that, um, they basically saying that, uh, you know, when they was a nice guy, women shitted on them. And then they found out to play the bad role. And that's usually most dudes, uh, that's their thing. I always say on the Patreon, check out the Patreon, the difference between uh, dudes that turn to player max or guys that's good with women and the guys that's not. A lot of guys that's not good with women, when that happened to them, they never switch it up. It's insanity. They think, oh, it's just them. Oh, me being nice, it was just that woman. So all women not like that. So they go be nice to another woman, get played. Now, my whole life, I watched nice guys get played. So I knew. I knew nice, you know, when, and I talked about that on the Free Game 89 channel, why nice guys... You know, why women don't like nice guys. A lot of them come off as uh, disingenuous. A lot of the guys that's straightforward and players, they tell them straight up and down, I just want I just want the panties. Or they let their intentions be known. And, and a lot of times, in that shape, form, or, or fashion, women respect that honesty. They don't always respect honesty, but they, in that form, they do. But, um, but, yeah, that's the difference. And then guys, you know, maybe get your heart broke once or twice and you get played for being a nice guy. And, a lot of these dudes listen to their mothers and when they bring flowers and, and they come out and they be the nice guy and they bring flowers and stuff and then, you know, they and then women are straight up and lie. Oh, I think that's cute. I think that's nice. I mean, this, that, and that. You get played. Real dudes know that men out there, they know the difference. But a lot of guys that figure out women, they have, that, they have like one or two or three of those experiences where they get played being a nice guy and then they're like, oh, fuck that. I'm going to make an adjustment. The guys that don't have success with those type of women, they never make the adjustment. They think it's you know it's just that woman, so they they never make they never make an adjustment. And life is about adjustments, just not about with women. Life in general is about making proper adjustments. If you keep doing the same thing, getting the same results, and I understand the variables are changing. You know, Lisa's not the same as Wilma. Wilma's not the same as uh, Lisa. Lisa's not the same as Tammy. You think it's just you, but for the most part, in modern and with modern women, you know, female nature is female nature, and a lot of them feel the fact that you know people that they call Pookie thugs, Chats, and Ray Ray's, they feel like they feel more protected with them too. They feel more safe. They don't think a productive black man, a nice man, can protect themselves. But I say this: more, more of them productive men, and especially that grew up with fathers in the house, they know how to fight. The Pookies and Ray Rays, when they boil down to it, they run, they snitch, they can't fight. You know what I'm saying? A lot of them come off as thugs because they got a they got a Glock or they got a they carry a, a couple two fives around or they cover carry a 38 or whatever you know whatever they can, and they and they and they ain't afraid to shoot because out of stupidity and out of irrational or an emotional roller coaster not having emotional balance that don't make them thugs or make they just make them dumb. They turn the consequence meter off in their head. But bad being a bad boy don't always equate to being a thug or, or being violent. It just, you know, a lot of it boil down to, you know, being a rebel, you know, not really caring what nobody think. 
you know, having having other things going on, being busy, not prioritizing a woman, you know, showing her a really good time and then not hounding her or, you know, going over doing uh, doing something else. Or a lot of them, you know, they got other stuff going on. So women like to know that you got other things going on, even though she she wants to be able to fight for your time. Well, I want more time. I want more of your time. Or are you supposed to give her more of your time, but not all of your time? A lot of these dudes put their all into one woman and that turned them off. So part of that is being the bad guy. The whole mysterious thing, I'm going to talk about in the Patreon pretty soon, of uh, being myster- being the guy that's mysterious. You know, people say, what, what do you mean by being the guy that's mysterious? Being the guy that's mysterious, like she can't really read. You know, you're not opening up too much. You're not telling her too much. She's like, damn, what do you do for work for? What do you do to get that car? What do you do to be so fresh? Well, I mean, what what cologne he wearing? He smells so good, and and, and they want to they want to be able to try to find things out about you. And women find mysterious guys more interesting because they like to figure things out. They are the best investigators in the world. Surprise, more women ain't investigators. They want to find more things out. Like, okay, you got other hoes, or you know, uh, you got you know what you hiding, you know, or you just seem too good to be true, or. Blase this, blase that. They want to be able to figure you out. They find it more interesting. You know, out of the whole bunch of dudes you you in a group with, everybody parlaying, dancing, having a good time. You might just be sitting in a in a you might be sitting in a cigar lounge, smoke or sitting in a in a private space, sitting there smoking, chilling. You know what I'm saying? You might just be doing your own thing. You know what I'm saying? You might just be there. Hey man, I'm doing my thug this one, you know, I'm doing my thing, I'm chilling, blase this. And she like, damn, everybody else, you know, popping bottles, laughing, kikiing. He just chilling there in his own world, in his own little vibe. You might be at the end of the bar, chilling. Everybody else having a good time, but her interest is women interest is 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 piqued by guys that's not fitting into the norm, not being weird or nothing like that, but just not fitting into the norm. So like I continue to tell y'all, you know, you got to be mysterious, but being a bad guy don't mean you got to mistreat a woman on a date. No, nah. that you don't open the door, that you don't treat her like a lady. You just pretty much, you ain't really hounding her. You know, you really, you really got other things going on. You know what I'm saying? You being honest, straightforward about your intentions. And that's what he got. That's what it boiled down to. You know, that's what it boiled down to. Not being super nice, not, you know, leading with your wallet, not being hypersexual, you know, allowing her to be comfortable, treating her like a gentleman, but not being a super nice goody two shoes. Her feeling comfortable, her feeling protected. You know, not hounding her with too much attention, being hard to figure out, but also being, you know, conversating, you know what I'm saying? So, but, uh, it is what it is. Hey, let me know what y'all girls and guys think about it. Check out the music entertainment playlist. Check out the real one-on-one playlist. Appreciate the love and support. Peace.